Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about vulnerabilities, threats, and risk. Let's get started. First up, we're talking about vulnerabilities, and that's pretty much any kind of weakness, flaw, or error uh, that could be found within a system or process that you're using to protect any kind of asset that is then leveraged by a threat. So to kind of demonstrate this, we'll have some kind of asset. And that could be uh, people. Property. <clears throat> or information. And we're protecting it from some kind of threat. And then the vulnerability would be anything in our protection that could be utilized for that threat to gain access to our assets. Now let's look at threats. A threat would be anything that could exploit that vulnerability intentionally or accidentally and obtain damage or destroy the asset. And we break threats down into three categories. We have intentional threats, unintentional threats, and natural threats. So an intentional threat could be something like malware. Or a phishing attack. So an unintentional threat could be something like human error. And this could be something like a software bug. Or misconfigured device. And really the difference here is the intent. Did the uh, threat actor or whoever caused this attack mean for this negative consequence? So <clears throat> intentional malware phishing attacks, people are designing these attacks in a way that they are trying to uh, obtain information, trying to destroy assets, whatever. Unintentional, it's an accident. Uh, not the intended consequence. <clears throat> and the third type of threat that we have would be natural threats. <clears throat> and this is generally something more like a natural disaster. So could be something like a fire or a power outage. And this could be caused by something like a storm. or, you know, a flood. And these are all things that uh, we don't necessarily have control over, but they could negatively impact our assets. So it's definitely still a threat. And before we talk about risks, let's talk about our question of the day. Today, uh, I'm wondering what cybersecurity threats do you face on a regular basis? Leave the answer in the comments below and we can discuss it. And finally, we're going to talk about risk. Risk is the potential for loss or damage, destruction uh, of an asset when a threat takes advantage of a vulnerability. <clears throat> so something else to keep in mind, uh, these, you know, this would be the effect of the threat. But when you talk about risk, you also have to talk about the potential of a threat. What are the chances that it will actually occur? So we could have two threats. Say we have a home. Two threats that could uh, face this asset that we have, this home. We could have the house could catch on fire and burn down. Or the house could uh, be struck by an asteroid. Now, while both of these are threats and there's risk associated with both of them, we're going to carry fire insurance 
because that's a very common risk. There's, it's a common threat. It, there's a certain likelihood that it would happen. Very few people that I know of carry asteroid insurance because what's the chances that your house is actually going to get struck by an asteroid? <clears throat> Whenever we're discussing risk, you have to also discuss what's the potential for any specific threat and then rank threats and risks based off of the potential that they might actually occur. So to recap, a vulnerability would be some kind of weakness in our defense of some kind of asset. Then a threat is anything that will use the vulnerability or weakness in a, an attempt to obtain damage or destroy whatever we're trying to protect, whatever asset that could be. And then risk is the effects of a successful threat using a vulnerability against our assets. And whenever we talk about risks, we have to talk about what are the chances that this threat will actually happen. Thanks for watching the video. If you found this helpful and informative, uh, like and subscribe and stay tuned and hopefully we'll see you on the next one.